Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Terawa. This is Zerple Drank Incorporated. We are making that money, getting them Gouda stacks. My name is Splattercat. I'm happy to have you back here today. We might be able to uh, get our first acquisition today. I'm thinking we might be able to get our first acquisition today. Grab onto that stuff that we want to have, manage our property well, and we're making money hand over fist right now. I'm thinking I don't really want a sandy type over here. I might take another loam. We've got a forest over there, we've got loam over there, and we've got a lake on that side. Now, I don't know what sandy soil is good for, because they don't implicitly tell you in a lot of the, uh, a lot of the ratings for the soil and whatnot what you should grow there. Uh, has that stuff moved already? Are we good? They're still selling. They're still selling on our behalf. So you know what, let's do our thing. I'll probably stick with the guy at the bottom, because we get a 10% increase on our price. And now that we're up at the $60, $70 bottle range, that's good for us. That's real good for us. Next year, we should be able to buy another field and be ready to go. And so that's going to cost us some money, but I'm looking forward to maybe making like some Merlots or something like that. I think this is probably the best spot to take as it is still adjacent to our tile, our little woodland tile right there. Our ripeness is at two right now. We're going to want to keep an eye on that. In addition, as soon as we can move the rest of our volume, ooh, we've got vine rot. That's no fun. Well, we'll see what happens with that, but there's not anything we can really do about it. We just have to ride it out. Uh, these guys can take on a whole bunch of our stock. I'm going to go ahead and sell off 738 bottles through them. And so they've got 700 and something bottles that they can get done. Uh, that has shifted our favor around pretty considerably. Uh, with Fairy Brothers, I'll probably give them the last 82 bottles just so we're making some kind of money that we can sell along the way. And so it seems like one is the agriculture option, one is the cash option, and one is the bulk sale like Walmart option. Where if you just want to get rid of your stock as fast as possible, they seem to be... Good, 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 good. We got a little bit of rain in there. We got light foliage going on right now, but I wouldn't be adverse to some optimal foliage for a little bit. Just to play it safe. Just to play it safe. There's our optimal foliage. Very nice. So we should see some pretty good growth right there. Keep this thing spinning and rotating. If that goes up to heavy foliage, we'll go ahead and knock that off the list. But I don't think it will because we didn't get enough rain. At optimal, yield is still hurting, but we got the money to sink it right now. Maybe give it a little bit more sunlight so that it doesn't have the opportunity to rot off the vine. Give it a little bit more loving with the sunlight. See if we can give it a little bit of something right there. We're basically lined up the way that we want to anyways, and when it comes to maintaining the sweetness on our vine, I think things are going to turn out okay. July right now, if we get a nice little July rain, we'll get up to that optimal foliage. That did get rid of our vine rot, so we're solid right there. Let's watch for foliage growth, and I'm going to try and keep it at a 5 to a 6. It's at 5 right now. That's great. That's exactly where I want it to be. If it gets any thicker, well, then we're going to have to trim that down because I don't want to lose any sweetness at this point. I can bulk up my sweetness a little bit if I want to, but for right now, I'm just going to kind of let the, let the field play the way that it lies. Is it on heavy foliage or optimal right now? Good. Let's keep it optimal. I'm not going to harvest right now. I'm going to try and get a little bit more out of this yield before I go any further. And if we bump on up to heavy, that's okay. I don't mind, but this yield is a little bit weak because of the rot. And so I'm thinking we're going to want to do it late in the year. There's 1.5. I'll take 1.5. Let's get 1.5 going. Uh, this was an exceptional year, so it gets plus one to its rating. Very good. We'll crush it on down. That's going to make our tannins go up slightly. I'm also, before we go any further, going to acquire this land right here. And so there it is. We have new land. Uh, with the fermentation process, we don't want sweetness to go up, so we're going to leave that as it is. With our crushing, acidity looks about right. I'm going to take it up by one. And now that that's done, we're going to have the tannins and the acidity lay out for one month. And so in December, we'll go ahead and get rid of this batch. This is sandy soil. I'm going to try and do something a little bit more risky on this one. I'm going to go with something a little bit nicer. Uh, with this right here, we're going to want to watch this very closely. That's when we want to sell it right there. So it's ready to be bottled. Let's do our thing. Zerple drink. Uh, this is going to be, as always... Size show 2024. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Uh, we are going to throw a cork on that because I'm expecting good reviews. We've got a thousand bottles of that that we can get rid of. I'm going to go for the more prestigious reviewers this time around. Uh, we'll go with Nancy Treskel, Pauline Malgood, and then we'll go with Irina and see what she says. Uh, four. Reflects a lot of the good things about the varietal. Big and bold to the tannins and acidity. Okay, so we did a little bit worse right there, but a higher prestige reviewer did okay with us. Uh, we can sell for 80-something bottles with this person right here. I see no reason why we shouldn't go all in on that cash right now. I'm going to give them every single bottle that we have. Keep that relationship solid. Keep that money flowing. And let's get back into our next growing year. With that 1,000 bottles at 80 each, yeah, that should be about 80 grand that we're bringing in. 
give or take, given the change that was involved in there, the $3.50 or whatever it is that's on top. But as they sell that, we should be able to do well. With this guy over here, we're going to go with a Merlot over here, or maybe like a Chardonnay or something like that instead of a cab. I'm going to diversify our seller a little bit so that we've got better things going on. We've locked in on what they want from a cab. We're going to have to figure that out from scratch with the Chardonnay. I don't know exactly what they want from a Chardonnay. I'm not a wine guy. I don't know anything about wine, so I don't know what is preferential. Go ahead and pause our game for a moment. We're going to plant over here. Uh, we can do a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Uh, instead of the... Char or instead of the cab, we've got the uh, this over here. Monthly maintenance costs a little higher. We can go with the Syrah. No red possesses the same distinctive intensity as the famed Syrah. It's a varietal that bears incredible fruit in the harshest of conditions. Under a merciless sun, the winemakers of the Rhone Valley coax rich, robust, and complex Syrah from the baked soil. A spicy, full-bodied red wine on its own. A masterful collaborator in more specialized and potent blends, such as Gigandas and the remarkable Chateau du Pape. We'll go with that. We've got the money. Let's go for something a little nicer this year. Go with something a little bit classier, a little bit more ritzy. Put on our grower's hat here and see what we can do. So the Syrah is up by two. That, or I'm sorry, the Cab is up by two. That's up by one. We're going to want to take this a little slower from here on in. With the Syrah, it's supposed to be full-bodied. That was a little hint that it gave us from the description. And so we want its body to be super robust, I would guess. Otherwise, the reviews are going to go poorly. I'll probably try and do the exact same thing I did with the Cab by keeping this somewhere around five or six. We'll keep it about five in every single area. And then we'll just kind of see what happens there. We'll see what happens. If they don't like it with five everywhere, we'll start adjusting variables. Start moving one thing up versus one thing down. That's cloudy right now, which means we're not going to get as much sunlight. However, I'm excited about this year's yield. We've got light foliage, light foliage. Uh, this has phylloxeria and has a pretty good chance of dying. Let's slow this down for a minute. Uh, with this field right here, we're going to want to take that down by one. This field, we're going to take down by one as well. So there it is. We should have low foliage on both of these because we still want to keep the ripeness going up so we can get a better yield. Uh, we shouldn't have any problems with overexposure, I don't think. If we do, we'll just last it out and we'll let the foliage grow a little bit thicker on this side and see what happens. 10% chance that field is going to die. This field is exactly where we want it to be for right now. The Syrah could go up a little bit higher. So I'm going to allow this one to get some foliage as soon as possible if I can. Speed that forward ever so slightly. We've still got money flowing in, so we don't have too much to be paranoid about. I think sweetness is getting a little out of hand here. I might not have wanted to trim what I was doing over there. The cab is having a problem right now. We will have to bring the sweetness down on these pretty considerably. But there was no rain this year. What are you going to do? So there it is. These now have optimal foliage. We're going to leave those. And then we're also going to let them get heavy foliage. Uh, which they should get from that rain, I would think. They're a little too sweet right now, so we're gonna let them. We're gonna let them wither a little bit on the vine. It is October, so we are watching out for that. I'd love to bring this down slightly, though, on both fields. Come on, give me just a one tick down, and I'll be happy. Ah, we just couldn't get the foliage we needed that year. All right, harvest. Do your thing. We got three tons. Sweetness is way too high right there. That's about right, though. So the Syrah is almost exactly where we want it to be. So let's play around in our cellars. Uh, the cab. The cab's a little rough right now. We're going to have to bring acidity up pretty considerably. We're going to have to lower sweetness pretty considerably either. Uh, this guy, we're going to have to crush the exact same way, so tannins are going to go up. Crushing is taking place. I don't know if it takes longer if we have more stuff or if it takes less time, but I'm happy with what we got going on here. I'm thinking this should be pretty good. All right. So there we go. Pause the game for just a moment. Uh, fermentation is going to decrease our sweetness. So on the cab, we're going to have to do that for four months. The Syrah, we're going to do that for one month. So fermentation is going to take a little bit of time, but we'll focus on the Syrah this year. We've got extra money. And so I think it should be all right. If I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. I'm not a wine guy. I don't know anything about wine. I don't drink wine. I get tons of wine for free because my wife works for one of those companies that sells wine bottles. But aside from that, I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I don't want that to sit for too long. Oh, the barreling process just takes as long as it takes, does it? It takes as long as the longest member? Oh, that sucks, dude. That sucks hard because we're already back into growing season. We've got rain this year, which is good. 
let's slow that down. Keep the foliage nice and light on each of these. And from what I saw the last time, we probably want to keep... Yep, nice and light. It looks like we're going to have a wet year. And we'll start out with some of the newbie reviewers with some of our other stuff. Let's take those both back down. We want to cultivate sweetness for right now. And we've got time to do this over here. So with the Syrah. The Syrah, we don't really want to do much. Uh, acidity, we're going to want to increase that by one over there. Does it change based on which one you're on? Okay, it does. So for you, we want acidity to go up by four, maybe five. For you, we want acidity pretty much right where it's at. So we'll press that very quickly. It's now been pressed. So this guy right here, we're going to go French oak on both of these. Uh, for the cab, we're going to want to let that sit for... I should have taken acidity up higher on that one. Seven would have been better. We'll let that sit for about a month. This guy right here, we'll let it sit for about a month. And so in May, we'll deal with both of those. All right, it's May, so let's have a look at our wine cellar very quickly and see how we're doing here. I may let that drop to four acidity. This guy right here, though, should be ready for market. Let's see what happens with all fives in there. And so this is the Syrah, is it? This is the Syrah. We're going to call the Syrah something different. We're going to call it Dat Drank. No, we're not going to call it that. We're going to call it, uh, hmm. What do I want to call it? We'll call it, uh... We'll call it the Woke 2026, or 2025, there we go. Uh, we'll bottle it screw cap for now because we don't know how it's going to do. I'm going to let that last for another month. We will organize a tasting here. I'm going to send it to the lower tier people first and see what they say. Because I assume different wines are looking for different things. There's our tasting. It's nice and strong, kind of like the stuff we used to drink back behind the custodian's workshop back in high school. So its final rating is three stars. I think we're going to need a little bit more body on it. It said that it's supposed to be a wine with a high body, so all fives is not going to work. So we'll try something a little different next time. I'll try to keep these fives and the body. We'll try to keep that a little bit more... A little bit more... Sexy. Uh, it's still getting 60 bucks a bottle, so, you know. We'll sell to you, and with the remaining 264, we'll sell to you. There we are. No, oh, we didn't actually get the bonus right there. Probably should have sold exclusively. And then this guy over here, we're going to let it sit for another month. So in June, we'll deal with that. Uh, we need to trim these hedges real fast because it's almost May. There we go. Get that ripeness up a little bit. We should start to see that this summer. We've had a very rainy year, and so we've got a lot of foliage growing. Now that it's June, we'll take a look at this guy right here, and we're going to bottle. Uh, this is going to be Sideshow 2025. We're going to throw a cork on that because it's our fancier bottle. Organize that tasting. I'm not going to invite the fancier people just yet. We'll sell it to them, though. Oh, yikes. We got hit right there, too. Probably due to the sweetness and the acidity being slightly out of whack. Not our best go of it. Not our best go of it. He'll take 360. That's fine by me. Sell some of our stock to him just so we got bottles moving. And unfortunately... Uh, was not our best year, but that was my first year multitasking and trying to figure out what it was that I needed. Our yield is looking pretty solid already. However, if we don't start to get some sweetness out of this, I'm going to have to take this down. So let's take it down to no foliage real quick. So there we go. Now we have picked up some kind of vine rot of some kind. There it is, much better. And we'll probably want to grab these right at the beginning of September. So there it is. Get them now before it gets worse with the sweetness. So there we go. Uh, this is a rough one. This one's going to need work. Going to need some work. So for both of these, we're going to go with the same crushing method. I may try to go higher tannins. And higher body on these ones, although I don't have a way to increase the body of the wines that I have just yet. And so I'm thinking after we make some money, we'll probably want to upgrade our chateau so we get access to new technologies. So this guy right here, uh, sweetness, doesn't matter. Sweetness on this one. 
Both are in rough shape. I don't think the cab's gonna sell. We'll probably just black label that one. Let's just leave them where they're at for right now. We gotta bring acidity up by 40 on that one. We gotta bring acidity up by two by one on that one. Actually, no. Leave the acidity as is. We'll sell it as it lies right now and just see how things happen because we've basically shifted every point up by one. And we're just going to see whether they like it or not. French oak. Uh, you're going to have to sit for a little bit because that's basically the stuff that you clean out engines with. But you are ready to be sold right now. So let's go with the Syrah. We'll bottle that right now. Uh, we'll call this... I don't know what we called it last time. We called it... Uh, God, what did we call it last time? Oh, yeah, it was Woke. We'll call it Woke 20, uh, 2026. Keep it screw cap for now, too. The other guy we're probably not going to mess with too much. Uh, if we've got room to sell this, they're still waiting to sell off our bottles right there, so we should have cash coming in. Foreseeable future, we will organize a tasting over here. Let's give it to them first so that we take less of a reputation hit. Okay. So I'm thinking it's the body that's the secret on this one. We need the body to be a little bit higher. And we can't really sell anything right now, so we just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. The other bottle should be good to go in November, I think. And so if we can get November all nice and scored out, I think we'll be good. So November's good to go. This is ready to be bottled now. Sweetness is off the charts on this one. I may just discard it. I don't even know if we can sell that. Yeah, let's discard that. The sweetness is just too high. Nobody's going to drink it. It's going to get like $5 a bottle anyway, so why worry about it? Last year was a weird year. We got a lot of rain, and it made things a little bit screwy for trying to make sure the vines were good. Going into November, we're up over 100000 right now. I'm not going to spend that money right this second because, frankly, we're going to need it. Uh, we're in a little bit. I know we're making money right now. If we got bottles to sell, I'm going to strongly suggest we sell those. So let's go 360 to you. And so that'll get a price boost. Alternatively, we've got Sideshow over here. We've got Woke. We only got 36 bottles right there. So they don't really want that one. What about this one? There we go. We got the volume on this one. So I'm going to go full amount to you. I don't know if that auto adjusts. It does. Fantastic. So I can just put a thousand for everything when I want to auto sell the, the maximum amount here. How much did I have left? So there's another programming thing they need to get on top of. I will sell both of those to both of those distributors. Just so we're making a little bit more money. And then with these bottles right here, we'll sell it as it goes along. I've only got 36 of it, so it's not that big of a deal that we get rid of it right now. We should have a pretty good year, though. I mean, all it really takes to launch your reputation is a first couple good batches. And then once you got the first couple good batches, you should be solid. All right, straight into growing season. Let's speed this thing along and see how we go as far as rain is concerned. Eh, we're looking okay for right now. We've already got them planted. They're already building up their sweetness. So that's good. Hopefully nothing goes wrong this year. I'm hoping we can keep it nice and solid, get a little bit of rain right when they hit the four and fives. Ooh, no rain this year. That'll be fun to deal with. Rain? You want to give me some rain? There we go. Give me optimal. Come on. I need some kind of foliage growing over here. If I don't get that foliage, we're in deep, deep trouble. There we go. A little bit more foliage. I'm actually going to let... That's at optimal. I'm going to let this one go thick. And I'm going to keep this one at optimal for right now. Yield's looking good, though. We got money. We got cash in the accounts, which is really when you're running a business, all that you're looking at. Do you have cash in the account? Are you staying in the black? Are you good to go? So if these guys, they have optimal foliage right now. It's actually looking for something a little bit thicker, in all fairness. If we could thicken up that foliage for just like a month, I'd be a lot happier. Still chilling at optimal on both of these. This is going to be too sweet. I need it to go down on its sweetness. And if I can't get that, this cab is going to be... 
it's going to be a lot worse than we want it to be. There we go. Heavy foliage for you, sir. That takes us both down. There we go. Let's get your sweetness up a little bit higher. Ah, shit. Sweetness is a little low on both of these, but I got no choice. I got to I got to pull the harvest. I should be able to get some sweetness from uh, allowing it to sit for a little bit. The cab's fixable. That's an exceptional year. We only got 1.9 tons this year, which is a little rough. But both these should be workable, I think. All right. So for you, we'll put the same piggyish crushing message. That's going to mess with the tannins, but we don't have any other methods right now. We do have enough money to where I should be able to upgrade the chateau by the end of this sale, which is great. Uh, how are our sellers doing right now? How are our sales going? Latest financial report. Uh, we are about $55,000 in the black for this year. Not bad. Give us some employees to mess with. So this guy right here, uh, sweetness goes down, sweetness goes down. So both of these are going to be less than a month. As far as crushing goes, we're going to bring the acidity up by two on this guy. We're going to bring the acidity up. Let's go for a very acidic mix on this new one. We got to figure out what's good in a Syrah. I don't know what's good in a Syrah, but this one's about ready for sale. Uh, that one only needs to sit for about a month and it'll be good to go. This one, on the other hand, I'll probably let sit for two months. Just see what happens. So uh, January for the first batch and February for the second batch. And we should be solid. So there's our January. Let's go to our sellers. And that puts him about right on that cab. This is Sideshow 27. And then we're going to throw a cork on that one. And now that that's been bottled, uh, we need to get reviewers to come out and take a look at it. We'll organize a tasting here. We'll go with you guys and you guys. Uh, there we go. Pretty good rating. Not bad. So we should be able to sell the 27 for a decent price. Uh, how many bottles do I have? 1,300. Uh, sell the 1056 to him. That did not get our rating back up, unfortunately. And then I will send... The 264 your way. And then we'll keep uh, Fairy Brothers as our distributor for our next batch, which should be about good to go over here. Yeah, you know what? We've got acidity. We've got body. Acidity means it's going to be very sour, but some people are into that. Some people like that. And so let's try something with body and acidity. We'll bottle it right now. We'll also throw a cork on it, because why not? All right, and let's see how we do now that we've cranked the acidity up on this one. They might not like it. They might like it. We'll test it out on the lower tier guys first. Ah, they like the acidity. So body and acidity instantly loved it. It has attitude, it has flair, and now it has five stars from me. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we're going to sell as much of the lot as we can right here. So there we go. That should be money for the year. We got enough money to upgrade our chateau, so we're going to do that right now at the end of the episode. Oh, I need more renown. A hundred renown. Oh, wow. You've got to be putting out some batches to get your next chateau up. I didn't see that part. Okay, well, we may have a problem in that we have more money than we have uh, 15,000 for a forest tile. I'll take it. Yeah, I like forest tiles. Forest tile is now my tile. This now is backed up against 20% yield. Very nice. You probably also add an extra field pretty soon, too. So we've locked in on the formula for what we need in order to get that Syrah banging to make people like it. And I assume as you get higher prestige reviewers, you've got to narrow in on that formula even better. Like a one-star reviewer, for example, just wants a ton of acidity and a ton of body. A two-star reviewer probably wants the acidity and the body and a little bit of sweetness just right. You know, I'm guessing that that's how it narrows down as you get the higher and higher tier guys until you're just trying to get like this absurdly perfect mix of what it is you need versus what it is you don't we have no foliage on either of these so this is going to hurt us if we get to winter i'm hoping for a little bit of rain here 
The Syrah is fine with a whole bunch of sweetness. It's the uh, the cab that we got to worry about. So there's our rain that we were asking for right there. Hopefully that'll get some foliage growing. We have light foliage on both of these. That'll slow. We have optimal foliage now. Good. Optimal foliage is good. With the Syrah, we want to take that down slightly so it still gains a little bit of sweetness. And if this goes thick over here, which it did, we're going to want to trim that back down. And we'll take that to light foliage. Keep you moving on up as well. Trim those both down because, oh, so much rain. Keep them both light. Keep them both light. There we go. We are not going to take this harvest right now because I need the sweetness to shift on both of these ever so slightly. We'll trim those both down. These rainy years get me into trouble. We're in October right now. Come on, shift upwards. I need more sweetness out of you. We're in October. Let's go ahead and take the yield. We got over almost four tons on that one. Uh, cab. We can fix most of the stuff that's wrong with it. The Syrah, we will, the Syrah, we will crank the acidity up ever so slightly and see what we can do with it. As far as our crushing methods go, obviously we're going to have to crush with piggyage over here. That'll raise our tannins slightly, but that's okay because there's a flaw in our current grapes that requires more tannins. And so life should be good, I think. Life should be good. My goal for this game is just to keep everything at fives and see what they say about the review. And if I, if with everything at fives, which is pretty easy to do, they pan it super hard. I'll know from reading the descriptions and whatnot that we need to do better. Uh, so this is about right. I mean, I don't think we need to move that at all. Uh, sweetness. We'll keep the sweetness where it's at on both of these, actually. I feel okay with both of them. This guy needs his acidity to increase by basically one. This guy needs his acidity to go up by like three. And so there it is. Acidity is working out. We'll go ahead and cask these things on up. This one's ready for sale right now. Uh, technically, we could wait out the tannins, but I'll probably just sell it right this second. So we got French oak. This guy right here, we're going to want to wait one month to sell. One month to sell. So we'll keep an eye on our sellers and we'll see... See what's up with the whole thing. I'll probably expand our fields a little bit further, too. We got loam over here, so we could do more cabs, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we got a sandy field over here. Oop, there's our one month, so let me jump into the menu. And that's going to put us... I should have sold that. I messed up. So we'll bottle this. It's going to be bad, though. I'm not going to put a name on it. We'll keep it screw cap and everything. Uh, we'll bottle this guy as well. Actually, are we going to bottle it? Yeah, let's bottle it. There we go, and this will be, as usual, Woke 2028. So with our bottles, let's get some reviewers out here. So for Woke, we'll organize a tasting. This time we'll keep it to lowbrow reviewers still, but we will also include Nancy Treskel. Ah, five stars. Very nice. So that'll give us some nice renown that we can play around with. So we got five star bottles right there. I'll probably try to move those as quickly as possible. And we will move them through Manhattan Cellars so that we get the sales bonus for almost $100 a bottle right there. Yeah, we're about to make 100 grand off that batch. Not bad at all. The tasting for this guy I don't think is going to go well. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing with it that we do when we're just trying to farm out a little bit of this, that, or the other. El Scorchito. Uh, we'll have Caleb come out. Oh, really? Not bad. It actually got a decent rating. I didn't think that one was going to do very well, but you know what? It did okay. We got 1,300 bottles of this shit, so we might as well get rid of it now. So we'll sell right there, and we'll send them the 284 batch that we have remaining. And now, we just wait for the money to pile up. This game is called Terawa, or Terawa. I don't know how to say the name of the game, but it's really fun. I like this game a lot. Any game that allows me to stack that cheddar is a game that dwells inside my heart. I'll see you all next time. Let me know if you want more of this game, and I can play more. If you don't want more, I cannot play more. I like it, though. It reminds me of Turmoil. I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.